uh, about Costa Rica, and he goes, well, I should have made top eight. There was only 384 <laughs> people there. I mean, you know, my odds are tremendously good, and the field was tremendously weak. But if you look at the top eight, that top eight was pretty stacked. Oh, absolutely stacked. So AJ is playing uh, blue-black control, which is not something that uh, is fairly prevalent in the Legacy metagame. And Jerry Th Thompson's playing a deck that, like, has been fairly kind of like it's it's a it's a new thing of late but actually we saw um gray hatch play it last week in in la it's the death shadow deck basically it uh uses a lot of cards that do damage to itself uh to take advantage of death shadow now death shadow is a one black um creature it's a 13 13 and it gets smaller for every uh every life uh yeah. Under? Under under third. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so it gets bigger as you get lower. Yes. Which is nice. I mean, it's a it was a creature that was not really ever used in standard, but it's interesting to see when you have this ability to use so many cards that can do so much damage to yourself to be able to do that. Now, we exchanged Thought Seize for Thought Seize. Mm -hmm. And now Jerry's on the play. Gets another land. Odds okay. over secrets. Excellent play there on his part. Okay. So... Um, AJ actually has uh, four Baleful Strix, which is actually um, one of those cards that actually is only really available to play in uh, Vintage and Legacy because it was in one of the specialty products. It's a blue-black 1-1 um, one, one fl fly with Death Touch that draws a card when it comes to play. So it's really, really like well suited to like shutting down a, a creature offense. Well, we just saw a main deck brainstorm. And it looks like Jitte is there as part of his collection. It looks like he's going to put it back on this on the pile, along with. Yeah, so well, he has he has the sticks in his hand right yeah. away, which is good. Yep. So here's a land and Belfel Strix. Um, it's a Force of Will, a Spell Snare. Um, at least two two Strixes in hand. So I I, I would. Now, he has a, there's a Jitte that he's probably putting on top of the deck. He's leaving also a a uh, Snapcaster Mage in hand. So, the Delva fails to flip for, for Jerry. Hits for one. It's going to crack another fetch land here. Just go down to 19. One of the funny things in, in uh, this deck, actually... It, it has a watery grave, and now like Ravnica uh, dual lands usually don't get played so much in um, in Legacy, but it actually is a benefit that, that you can take two, so because you can get lower for Death Shadow. In the Turok here, AJ cracks a fetch. So plays a spell snare to knock that one out of the way. Right. So. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Strix come down for a no, nope. Just pass his turn. May, uh, just well, he's, to... Remember, he's got the he's got the Snapcaster in his hand now to prevent any shenanigans. So now we flip the Delver, right. Force of Will in hand. So it's possible that uh, he's holding up the Snapcaster for a possible two-costing spell. Wasteland on the play there. Also in Jerry's hand is a Sylvan Library. <clears throat> okay, so Wasteland on the Underground Sea. Now, probably not going to see anything from... I think it's just putting a, a mana into, in, in, into his pool. Jerry will probably just go straight to his combat. Won't be. I mean, if, if Jerry does cast a, a two costing thing in in hand, uh, if he casts a two costing thing, he'll be able to play Snapcaster. So Snapcaster's targeting the brainstorm. Insectile yeah. aberration goes in. Here comes the library. So I think now AJ will play the. Well, he might actually force the libraries because the one thing about libraries is it allows like a aggressive deck to basically like get a lot of card advantage because 
like basically punish them for the fact that they can't really put on a lot of pressure. There's the force of will, I yeah. like said. Yeah, so he's, he's forcing the library because the library basically, you know, for 12 life you can draw three cards, which is like, 12 life is actually not that um, big a deal for... Do, does Jerry want to force back here is the question. Um, he, 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 may, he, may, he may consider it. It's, he, he doesn't actually have the um, blue mana to do it. So Sorry, the blue card to do it, so he can't do it, even though he does have a force in hand. Um, oh, that's right, he does not have that thing. So he casts Brainstorm, flat, flashing it back. So there's a Strix and Edict. Two Strix. So he's going to cast a Strix. Basically, there was no land from the Brainstorm. Um, snuff out on the on the Snapcaster Mage. Which will take Jerry down to 17. Yeah, so it's... I love, I love about the sticks is it basically stops Jerry's attack. Yeah, it just, and, and really it doesn't make any sense to like run into it. Like he's already drawn the card. It's already done a lot of the damage it's gonna do. Oh, Another good. Strix. But he's still missing that land. Yeah, so I mean he, he does have a, a Brainstorm, so if he draws... And a ponder. So if he has an, um, an island, oh, and a, and a diabolic edict to get rid of the creature, but I don't think he wants to really get rid of the creature uh, right at the moment. Oh, he's going to daze it. Yeah, no, it's, he 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 knows that AJ is a little short on land, so and that daze is well, no, daze will probably be getting will still be good for a while, but land turn. AJ ponders. Ponders. Looking for land, and uh, he finds a land a Jace and a force of will it's actually like all all goodness for him there the problem is the land is a sack land he won't be able to cast that jace until he gets at least three more turns yeah so he, he he's might, gonna have to ponder he, he'll 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 keep the land he he may brainstorm to see if he can draw um because he, he really does want to to get that jace to get him back in the game a little bit i mean he's not out of the game he's just really like push him ahead it is truly amazing that a 1-1 one, one creature can stall the board. <laughs> so there's a uh, timer going from, from Jerry. I, I think it's, it's like it's got sorcery, instant, enchantment, land. There's so a so creature. Four, five? Artifact. There's actually more than that. It's like a 5-6. Okay, there's the edict that took care of that one. Yep. So, so now, like, he draws the Jace. Ponder. We're gonna look for a land here. That's right. Yep, we got one land. Absolutely. Oh, this is oh, this is a fantastic um, ponder here. So it's got ponder, land, and a, um, I believe it's a Vendillion click, which <clears throat> Vendillion click is a really great card because it like it can play offense, defense. It can disrupt your opponent's hand. It's like it, it gives you so many different options about like how how you play out the game. Yeah, about a month ago, uh, Drew Levin and I were having a conversation about how Verdillion Click needs to make a larger impact back in Legacy, just because it's such... Even though it is a very valued card, it can be even better. And it uh, should be. And, and now you're starting to see it a lot more in there. Yeah, okay, so you get to see the Brainstorm, the Force, and the Jace. So, I mean, he, he definitely knows he's, like Jace is going to come down here, I think unless he wants to play around the, the days, but I think what he'll do is he'll probably sack his land, play the Jace. AJ just... Well, maybe like he, he maybe he's wait. Turn. Yeah, because he, because he has the um, Vendillion click, he, he's probably waiting on it, so he can, like, basically see if the coast is clear, so he, he'll play it, probably target Jerry, um, probably get rid of the Force of Will, and then next turn, basically, have the, the Jace be... have, have it all, all clear. Okay, AJ cracks another fetch land. Jerry just passed on his turn. Play the land and go. We really haven't seen the namesake of uh, the deck appear in, for Jerry yet. The Death Shadow. Yeah. I well, guess it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be that good. It, it it would only be a two two right now. No, but there's the click. Now does he brain? Does he? Does he do the force of will brainstorm to get or force of will to get rid of the click? Yeah. So I I I think he. Nope. Oh, he, just he, just, he just scoops. He he. No, I think Jerry realizes that. Uh, the writing's on the wall with the Jace. Once the Jace hits, it's, it's, it's too much. Yeah, and you're also talking the fact that we're already 20 minutes into the round, and this matchup is not exactly one of the faster matchups you're going to see out there. 
So if you are Jerry Thompson after losing game one, what are we looking at here to come in to help against him? So we, yeah, so 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 Jerry has um, as options. He has two Liliana, which um, I don't. I, I think has 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 some sort of. Uh, you, you could definitely bring that in. I'm not really sure exactly like if it would it, it'd be that good against um, the very few creatures that uh, AJ has, but it does uh, help you discard. Then we have like Jace. Jace actually, I, I think is like fantastic against this kind of matchup. One, it basically stops the big Jace from um, hitting play because they they legend mm -hmm. rule each other. Um, also, I think filling up on. Um, Filling up on cards is going to be a little bit better for an, a, a, an aggressive deck than, um, than for AJ. One of the things I think he might bring in is the Creeping Tar Pit. Because he right now needs to get by those Death Touch people, and this gets right by it. He only has one of them. Yeah, no, I, it's, I, an, it's a definite option to bring in against him to get by those creatures. Yeah, it's like one of the things I think Jerry, Jerry has a fairly aggressive um, mana base. I think he only has 19 land in his deck. And so when he brings in cards that cost three... Um, or more, he probably needs to bring another land because, like, he he he's just running a little short on land. Um, so uh, my guess is he's going to bring in the Jaces, the P creeping tar pit, the him, yeah, um, <clears throat> and probably that's it. The, those ones. It's possible that the um, the Lilianas come in. I don't think he wants to like load his deck up with like four or three costing cards. I think he'd rather kind of like keep keep it on the cheap. Now, what about AJ? AJ, you know, came through there. Now, his sideboard is interesting. He's got four bobs on the sideboard. Yeah, I, 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 I think the bobs are something that I'm, I think he probably may want to consider. I mean, he usually brings in Bob versus like other control decks. This is a weird deck. It, it has only a few creatures. It only has 11 creatures, but it has an opportunity to really, really actually pour on some damage with Tarmogoyf, Death Shadow, and Delver. I, I think, I'm not really sure if he'll bring it in. Um, <clears throat> he probably, so so he has uh, Innocent Blood, which is actually very good at dealing with some of the harder to kill um, elements of uh, Jerry's deck. Uh, Thoughtseize, Spell Pierce, these are all things I think will probably come in because of the Force of Wills. Uh, there's Dark Blast, I don't think Dark Blast doesn't do anything. Um, is Ghastly Demise also, but Ghastly Demise is not so good against Death Shadow and Tarmogoyf. It's a little, takes a while for, the, for them to get better. Yeah, and I don't think he needs the hard counter spell in there. No, I think the hard counter spell is just there generally for um, against other control decks. I just happened to see a tweet from SCG Live's own Joey Pasco asking, did AJ win round game one? Yes, he did. Uh, what you didn't see is that Jerry knew that AJ had Jace in his hand, and basically was going to take control of the game from there, and it was over. Yeah. So it might have been a slightly premature scoop, but I I, I think um, Jerry's probably had a had a good uh, like understanding of what he can come back from, and a Jace that he can't specifically get rid of is going to be really tough. I mean, I guess he could have drawn a um, <clears throat> drawn another force off the click, but he knew that AJ actually had another uh, force of will himself. We have these wonderful little insights from the players, and uh, Jerry uh, says, where are you from, Roanoke? Do you consider yourself better at Legacy Standard? He goes, what are your significant tournament performances? Now this is from a gentleman. He's won Grand Prix. Won Grand Prix. He's yes. won numerous. Yeah, he's won Invitational. Invita yeah, numerous tournaments for SCG. His current accomplishments are none. Jerry's always very self-deprecating kind of guy. It's like, you know, he, 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 he kind of doesn't give himself any it doesn't kind of like you know blow himself up very much um but he also kind of gives gives a little a bit of uh, a hard time to everyone else too so basically if he's accomplished nothing there's a whole lot of people out there in the pro tour that have accomplished a whole lot of nothing <laughs> and we're back so turn one um delver secrets for jerry after he sacks his misty rainforest but using the Watery Grave, taking extra damage, kind of telegraphing a little bit that he that he has a Death Shadow in his hand. Uh, AJ right away plays his land, plays Ponder right away. I think yep, that'll be dazed. It's one of the good things about um, Jerry's deck. It works on very few land and oh. <clears throat> and it flips. Yep, 
the brainstorm for the flip. So it, it doesn't actually require him to. So he takes another two damage. This uh, this deck actually Death Shadow got a little worse with the the mana burn rules that, that took away because you used to be able to just like mana burn yourself all the way down and then you'd be able to play Death Shadow. Yeah. Now you have to do the hard way with uh, Ravnica Shocklands. Well, it looks like this is the reason why AJ kept his hand with the Verdillion Click, Ponder, Diabolic Edict, Snapcaster Mage, Land, and Drowned. Drowned Catacombs? Am uh, I correct? Uh, it's. It is a Drowned Catacombs. Drowned Catacombs. So AJ can play everything in his hand, and so he's got the he, Ponder available also. Yeah, so, so you really kind of have to look at like how this, these next turns are going to play out. I mean, if he was worried, if he wants to keep the pressure on, he may get rid of the Diabolic Edict, basically forcing um, like uh, AJ to have to uh, Snapcaster it back. Problem with that is obviously the click will still be able to block eventually, um, block the Delver eventually. So, so, so okay, he takes, take he, he takes it. it. It does set AJ back up quite a few turns, like, um, setting up basically to kill it. I mean, he does have options to kill it, but he, he, he'll take a while. There's the Ponder with a Brainstorm, and it looks like two, two lands. lands. Yep. I think he won't... You, yeah, you probably shuffle, shuffle that. Away. Like the brainstorm, the, he didn't really have any good ways to shuffle his deck. I think he really, really kind of wants to find another um, cheap removal spell, um, or just basically something more powerful than two lands. He does have one go for the throat, so, so he does have an option to have another kill spell. At his so he actually drew a ghastly demise, which is actually perfect right now. So you can you can play this in ghastly demise. <clears throat> so he brought in the ghastly demise. Um, Oh, and that'll oh, be So, <clears throat> so Jerry brought in the jit, uh, Jitays as well. Now, the the next turn, um, AJ will actually be able to play his um, click to to block. So even though that uh, <clears throat> AJ has been able to, sorry, uh, Jerry's been able to counter twice, he really only has AJ at fourteen after all this time. AJ will probably drop an island here. Yeah, he may actually even click. No, oh, no. Himself? He, yeah, I. It's. Oh, he looks like he wants to pass his turn. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna click on the. Uh, yeah, he's gonna the click. Opponent's, opponent's turn. Or maybe during Jerry's draw step, after he's drawn. Yeah, he's got the, the, Jerry's got the Jitte in his hand, a brainstorm. Uh, uh, he's a him to Turak as well, which he can't cast currently because he only has one black. His other uh, land in his hand is a tropical island. So, I think Jerry's thinking whether he should brainstorm in step now because I think AJ passed. Because if he gets that black land, yeah, he, he may want to try and set himself up for um, to cast yeah. him the next turn. The prob one of the problems. Nope. So he does not. He does not cast. Oh wait, Snapcaster. Oh, he wants a demise from the graveyard here, and so Jerry will just let it happen. He, 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 I think he wants the opportunity to draw a black, and him him no, does, not draw, does not draw. Um, probably he's going to wasteland here. Well, actually no, he's he's a little bit behind on mana, so it might not make sense to wasteland. The only reason he might consider wastelanding is um, if he fears a, a Jace from AJ, he may want to try and like give himself a turn um, to avoid getting kind of Jace the next turn. He has no current defense for Jace if it hits play, and he doesn't really have a threat. It's it's kind of so he's played the Jitte. Good play. Now he gets it. he gets another creature out there. The Jitte becomes very powerful. Okay, it looks like he drew. A... So AJ attacks to bring Jerry down to nine. It's actually the first attack by. Uh, AJ, yet Jerry's on nine because of all the damage he's done to himself uh, with Watery Grave. It's going to pay off if uh, if he gets to draw a uh, Death Shadow. Oh, he main face clicks. Just worried about like some sort of counter magic. Well, so gets yeah, 
He gets rid. I think he gets rid of the brainstorm. He knows that the the him is locked in his hand and the wasteland he can't get actually. So, yes. Um, I, 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 th I think it, it's possible that he just leaves it because a, a brainstorm without a shuffle effect is not that that good. He's he's already going to draw another card. Um, like it'll cost him another mana in the next turn. It's, I, I it I can I can definitely like set up a situation where he. Oh no! He just he decides to to let it go, and Jerry draws another blue card. Like we don't know what it is. A brain. Oh, he actually drew two, two, two brainstorms. brainstorms. Well, I guess so, you trade one, get two, and trade. Yeah, yeah, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see if Jerry can get that land. So we get to so we see the sack land, which is good. Um, Little Jace, and it looks like. Yeah, he may. He's probably going to put back the the wasteland. I don't think the wasteland's actually doing him any favors right now because he, he needs to cast. This. He wants to play the second black land so he can cast the him here. But he also has a delver in hand, so he, he could be trying to think about setting it up. Oh yeah, there yeah, he yeah. I think he's trying to set it up now. He's going to put him on top, play the delver, have the delver basically flip because of the him. And then he can crack his fetch land to go yep. searching for something else to give him a different, give him a shuffle effect that mm -hmm. he needs. Because I don't think he really needs that Jace right now. The he may, he, Jace he may not even him. want the him. That's, I mean, he probably does want the him. It's like it's 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 very good at the moment. So now now like he's basically um, AJ has the option of like thought scouring the the two cards that. Um, they got put back. He's making it. Yep. yep. So he does it. Gets rid of the him. Draws a thought seize. It was a very interesting play in AJ's part. Normally everybody's doing them, scouring themselves, but it was very nice that he did it against him to take away Jerry's ability to flip that Delver. <clears throat> so the thing that uh, AJ has to worry about is. That Jute getting equipped. Um, basically, the one Jute getting equipped is going to equal both creatures just hitting the bin. All right, AJ is looking at his options right now. Yeah, I, I think he wants to. He kind of wants to consider um, thought seizing. He does take, the, take him. He does take him to five now. Yeah, but he's going to lose all his creatures here. Uh, but though he will probably just Snapcaster, and I think he's probably Snapcaster and Diabolic Edict right now. Basically, taking away the ability for Jerry to <coughs> to equip his Delver. What that allows basically means that Jerry pretty pretty much he's definitely in trouble at that point. I mean, I, I don't think there's actually that many cards he can. He can do to get out. I don't think there's many outs for him if he does that. But does, <clears throat> but does now AJ because he does not know what Jerry has. Is he afraid that Jerry has the force of will to be able to counter it? Yeah, I, I, I think he's probably more worried about a spell snare at this point. Yeah. Um, well, here we go. We're gonna play it. Snapcaster. No spell, spell pierce. I mean. Edict. And so it looks like. <clears throat> He goes to three. He must if he if he actually has the peers here, and we this is going to be brainstorm. a brainstorm. So he, so he needs to draw a force of will and a blue card probably. Um, if he does, he actually is not in the worst shape. He's not in the worst shape, but he definitely needs the well. He goes. To, He'll go to three, he'll kill a Snapcaster and a, a click with his Jite, then get hit by the the remaining kind of Snapcaster, putting him to one. But we've seen comebacks from one, so... Yeah, you, you saw a guy at one fight to a draw. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely possible. Anything can happen. Okay, so let's have a look here. Here comes the cut. What do we get here? Jerry pulls land brainstorm. Uh, no. Not a force of will. No. 
Yeah, he's got a wasteland in hand. So th this is not very useful, and he actually he knows that he's pretty much dead now. There's very few things that can happen here that will get him out of here. I, like I, I can't think of anything. Having a look at his his deck list right now, I don't think there's anything that really gets him out. I'm trying to see if possibly engineered explosives. Only he's kills. Showing him, yeah, he's showing him the edict again. That if he doesn't counter it. Yeah, you know, he, he and he can't actually cast engine explosive next turn. Um, so, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Jerry draws that wasteland. Yep. So he has to. He basically brainstorm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. I'm pretty, like, looking at his deck, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's drawing dead right now. Well, Jerry's trying to think of every option he has here. Giving it all, you don't want to come into a tournament after having two buys and lose your first round right away. Not that losing another person, another person's going to hurt you. Yep. Each of his deck seems to be very, very well kind of suited to um, being Jerry. He has a lot of... Okay, he's going to... Taxium probe. I think he's just probing to, to just to draw a card. Yeah. No, he needs to get deeper because he's seen two of the cards that the yeah. the brainstorm has. So there's he brainstorm. Storm. And there's no, and he's dead. Tarmogoyf chase. If he plays Tarmogoyf, he dies to. I mean, he's already at one now, so. He's trying to play two. <laughs> Shows him, shakes the hand. He's, yep. Congratulations to AJ Soccer winning 2-0 against Jerry Thompson. That will send AJ to 3-0. And, and Jerry Thompson, after round after round three, after having a bye, is 2-1. Two, two By no means out of the competition for top eight, but hey, it looks like we're going to get another match right Yeah, away. Well, we're seeing um, Matt Costa versus Todd Anderson. And it looks like the Delver Mir, Rug yeah. Delver Mir. Matt Costa... Like uh, one of the rising stars, uh, he made uh, top eight at uh, Pro Tour Avicen uh, so, Sorry, Pro Tour Dark Ascension. Before they get started here with their match, a little story about Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson's married to SCG's own Kelly Anderson, and they're both here at the event this weekend. Well, last Wednesday was their three-year anniversary. So of course, where would you want to be on your three-year anniversary? Three -year anniversary, but to be at the SCG Invitation. <laughs> I mean. What a romantic way to spend a weekend together. But hey, like I joked with Todd earlier, I said all you gotta do is win and give her the money and I'll make up for it. <laughs> so no pressure on him on here. Well, at least by uh, by law, even if he, for any any money he wins, it's, it's half his calories. Half is half, <laughs> yes. Somehow I think they can go for a real wonderful vacation on a, on a win this weekend. Okay, so these deck lists are very, very similar. They have the same creatures. They both have Nimble Mongoose, Tarmogoyf, and Delver, four ofs. Um, I pretty much know there's very little difference except oh, no, there's four stifles in in Todd's deck. There's no stifles in, um, and actually that, that that makes a big difference with that that many sack lands. Um, the one of the other things that uh, there's a mind harness in um, in Matt's deck, which actually is going to be useful at stealing uh, Tarmogoyf if he chooses to bring it in. Um, this is often a fight of kind of like submerges too. So they both have four submerges. Um, they both have like t uh, like two blasts. So this is actually like extremely extremely different, except for the fact that. Uh, the Todd had stifles, and that could really like put a hurt on uh, on Matt's ability to, to to produce mana. Well, there was a lot of talk from some players for the tournament that stifles were actually getting back into a more competitive action in Legacy, and to see Todd here running four of them it shows how much he feels it's a very very important card to have in in his competition. Okay, we're back. Okay, so Matt drops land first turn, Nimble Mongoose. Yep. So Nimble Mongus is definitely one of the better um, threats in in the mirror, just for the simple fact that like there's basically nothing that kills it on each each side. Um, now, obviously the problem is it takes a little bit of work to, to put out uh, to to get bigger. Um, so the Delver, 
into play, and he has a brainstorm in hand, so if he doesn't flip it naturally this turn, next turn he can set it up. Oh, he also has a ponder, which Matt can help set it up for himself. Yeah. It's very possible that he might just, well, he may not try and um, rid blast it straight away because uh, it'll open himself to being dazed. Okay. If um, Tide actually is forced to get a forest, um, it, looks, it looks like there's two submergers in Matt Costa's hand, which are backbreaking in the right situation. Yep. Yeah, he's red blasting, doesn't care about the days. I, th I think he has, he doesn't have another land, and so it's, it's, I think he's kind of like assuming that a days is going to get him at whatever way yeah. he, he kind of plays that. Man has a waste land. Take oh, that's a, this is a huge deal because like uh, Todd does not have another land in, um, in his hand. And there's another wasteland in in um, Mac has to Matt, draw. Yeah, so so I, I think uh, this is going to be tough unless he draws a basic island or a sack land that can get a basic island. This is four cards for threshold for Matt. Nope. nope. A stifle. No. And pass his turn. He's got. There's a submerge. Oh, submerge. Sorry, three brainstorms in his hand. Yep. So looks like so Matt Costa is going to get probably another tropical island and that puts here. Him up to Five in his graveyard, which yep. probably been... putting up another green, green threat in in the form of Tarmogoyf. I think is in his hand. Um, not looking great for Todd here, just for the simple fact that he has no land. Yeah, and Matt's still sitting on that wasteland. Yeah, so again, need, it, this 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 land definitely needs to be a basic island in some shape or form. Uh, if he gets an island here, though, he does get to submerge. Uh, no, I think it's a. Uh, He's in deep, deep trouble now because yeah, he just drew, he drew a, uh, a Dark Confidant. The biggest problem is, is a dark confidant. Todd's deck is running no basic lands. Oh, no basic lands. So, so Matt, Cost, Matt, Matt Costa's Wasteland looks even more superior now. Yeah. This is, he swings in. Yeah, I, I, I don't see a real kind of comeback right now. I mean, I hate to call it this early, but I, I think there's... Look, uh, now the Wasteland's in play, so... Oh, no, there's another card he's got. To yeah, discard. he's eleven. He, oh, it's a dismember. Um, yeah, I think this one is over unless. I'm just gonna brainstorm. Brainstorm. A lot of another wasteland. Oh, oh two, oh, two wow. wastelands so and a mine harness. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot of these kind of rug devil decks come down. Uh, the matchup comes down to. A, to mana. They don't run many land. No. Nope. Like they, they, they run a total of like 17, 18 land. Um, they generally don't run uh, like basic land, so wastelands are huge in this matchup, kind of matchup. And so. Oh, and now he's just going to bolt them to the face. He, bol he bolts them so he can get threshold. Yeah. Um, and I believe that Should take might, him might even be. So I think one, it's a right? one, I think, yeah. Yeah, so. Yep, and he just scoops. So Matt Costa wins over Todd An Anderson in the rug Delver Mirror. Um, really thanks to kind of like a little bit of mana suppression on uh, Matt Costa's side. Funnily enough, it would normally kind of like seem to, to argue, uh, seem to reason that Todd Anderson would generally win um, the mana suppression with the four stifles, but he didn't draw enough uh, islands to basically make that matter. I understand it's very difficult with their mana base with what they have to do. But eventually, does it get to the point where they have to play a basic island or something like that just to be able to do that? Or is it because their base needs to be so diverse 